In today's video, we're going to be walking through the top five cichlid tank setups for a 55 gallon aquarium. The 55 gallon tank is one of the most commonly kept aquariums out there. We're starting to get to the mid to the larger size tanks, and this starts opening up some ideas when it comes to keeping different cichlids, and I can't wait to talk more about that, so let's dive right in. Okay, so first off, when we're talking about the 55 gallon tank, we are talking about a tank that is 48 inches long, 13 inches from front to back, and 20 inches tall. The 55 gallon tank is one of the most commonly kept aquariums for a few reasons. One of the most popular is that it isn't too small of an aquarium, but it's still not too large to be overwhelming. You can keep small and some large fish in these tank sizes, so it starts to open up some of your stocking ideas. It's a very similar footprint to the 75 gallon tank, which has a few more inches front to back, which is actually a better footprint for a lot of cichlids, but we're gonna talk more about the 55 gallon tank and some of the nuances there. I'm gonna walk through our top five categories of cichlids that you can keep in a 55 gallon tank, and within each of those categories, I'm gonna talk about a few different cichlid options that you may wanna stay away from when it comes to that tank size. So let's get right into the list, starting with number five. We're gonna start in Lake Malawi with your peacock cichlids. A 55 gallon tank is probably too small for your standard community of peacock cichlids. I have a 75 gallon full of all male peacock cichlids. I would not put those in a 55 gallon tank long term. But you could do something like a smaller breeding group in a 55 gallon tank when it comes to peacocks and that could be really rewarding. It could be fun to see that breeding process happen and you can make a little bit of money doing it. You can maybe do a male and a group of female peacocks of the same species in that 55 gallon tank. They still have the four foot space to swim back and forth and because you're not overstocking it with a lot of different males, it could work in that 55 gallon tank. And that's why it's coming in at number five on the list and not higher. And on a similar note, some of the cichlids in that category I would stay away from are some of your bigger peacocks and also the Malawi haps, maybe your common haps or even your predatory haps. A 55 gallon tank is definitely not big enough for any of those types of fish. So be very careful if you're looking into the peacocks and haps. And then coming in at number four on the list and sticking in Lake Malawi, we're talking about an Ambuna tank setup. A 55 gallon tank for Ambuna could definitely work as long as you're specific with the types of species you select. One of the easiest options would be a colony of Solosi, as they have blue males and yellow females and a ton of activity. It could be a really cool tank to see that breeding happen and just a colony establish. But then when you're looking at a more assorted Mbuna tank, I think the yellow labs, the rusty cichlids, the red zebras, those are some of the Mbuna that would work well in a 55 gallon tank setup community. The Johani could likely go in that setup as well, although they can be a bit aggressive in a 55. But as long as you go with some of those mid to smaller size Mbuna, some that aren't overly aggressive or known to be, I think you could definitely get away with a colony of Mbuna in a 55 gallon tank. A few Mbuna in this category that I would definitely stay clear of, especially in a 55 gallon tank, are things like your Aratus or your Bumblebee Cichlid, maybe even the Yellowtail ACI because they get bigger for Mbuna long term. But as long as you pick the right Mbuna, it could be an awesome tank with a lot of color and a lot of activity. And number three on the list is yet another African Cichlid tank setup, but this time it is a Lake Tanganyikan tank. So we talked about smaller tanks like 40 gallon breeders and smaller in another video that I'll leave in the upper right hand corner. And one of the best options here is a shell dweller community tank. These guys have a really unique behavior of breeding and just living amongst these shells, providing some really cool behavior to the tank. But once you get to the 55 gallon tank size, it really opens your options up for other fish that could either be in the mid or upper levels in the tank. Something like your Julia Chromis or your Leo Lupi cichlids, those could definitely be more of your rock dwellers in the tank, whereas your shell dwellers could be in a different side of the tank with some of the shells. And some really cool options from Lake Tanganyika that could stay at the top or mid levels of your tank would be something like your Brichardi or your Cyprochromis species. Those would really school back and forth or provide some activity to those upper levels of the tank, whereas something like shell dwellers will usually be in the bottom third near their shells. So for a 55 gallon, you could really have all those extra dimensions in your tank from the shell dwellers at the bottom, maybe on the side, maybe a rock structure on the left or right, and have some different rock dwelling cichlids like your Julia Chromis in that territory, and then have some Cyprochromis swimming at the top, I think would make for a really dynamic tank something that's a little more unique, something that you don't see at your fish stores very often. And then just one cichlid to stay away from from Lake Tanganyika. Obviously the Frontosa gets too big for a 55 gallon tank, 
but if you stick to some of those smaller cichlids, it could make for a really cool 55 gallon aquarium. Coming in at number two on the list is a Central American tank setup. In the video we did on 75 gallon tank setup ideas, we talked a lot about the Jack Dempsey, the Convict, the Firemouth, the Salvini, the Nicaraguan cichlid, and some of those could go in a 55 gallon tank as well. Something like the Salvini might be too aggressive for something that's smaller in a 55 gallon tank, but I definitely like the Jack Dempsey, the Convict, and maybe the Firemouth as a group together. You can maybe add in some bristlenose plecos and maybe a larger tetra species that schools more at the top of the tank, providing a dither fish in that tank for some of those cichlids that do tend to hide at times. Another fish you could add into that group would maybe be a rainbow cichlid. They stay pretty small, but they do tend to hold their own even against something like a convict. But I definitely think the Jack Dempsey could be the showpiece fish in a 55 gallon tank. The Firemouth could as well. A 55 gallon tank would also be great for a breeding pair of Firemouths, for instance. I would definitely be careful with your Central American cichlids like your Paracromus, your Red Devils, Midas. Anything that gets that big and aggressive, you definitely want a bigger tank for. The 55 gallon being only 13 inches front to back, some of these fish get larger than that and won't even be able to turn around in the tank. So you definitely need a bigger tank, even if you're just gonna be keeping one of those big Central American cichlids. But as long as you stick to that mid or smaller size cichlid from Central America, it definitely could fit in a 55 gallon tank. My recommendation, like I said, would be the Jack Dempsey, Convict, and Firemouth together along with a few other tank mates. So coming in at number one on the list is the South American cichlid tank setup. And I'm probably gonna spend the most on this category because I feel like there's the most options when it comes to South Americans. So my usual recommendation for something like a 75 gallon or larger is the trio of Severums, Electric Blue Acaras, and Geophagus. However, the 55 gallon tank isn't quite large enough, I think, for even something like a Severum when they're full grown. But you could do something that's really cool instead, like a Planet Aquarium, with a centerpiece fish being the angelfish. I think my number one tank setup option for a 55 gallon tank would be a small group of angels in a planet aquarium. You could even do some smaller cichlids like your Epistogramma, your Bolivian rams would be great. Even something like the Crebenzis. None of those will get too aggressive and they'll have a ton of space near the bottom of the aquarium. And then to complement some of these fish and that planet aquarium, you could add something like a school of Corydoras to the bottom and a school of more peaceful mid-sized Tetras that aren't gonna be too much fin nippers or provide too much activity to stress out your angelfish. I think that makes for an awesome tank setup for a 55 gallon aquarium. You have all levels of the tank covered and some really cool centerpiece fish for that tank. But if you don't wanna go with the angel, you could mix that out for something like the keyhole cichlid, the festivum, or the dwarf flag cichlid. All those do really well in a planet tank. They don't get too big and aggressive. And I just think there are a lot of different options you could go with when mixing and matching some of those cichlids together. Some of those more peaceful cichlids that do well in a planted tank and all those could go together in the right combination. And out of that trio I mentioned in a 75 gallon tank or larger, I do think an electric blue Acara or two could go in that setup, but a 55 gallon tank might be too small for a group of Geophagus Tapahos or your Severums long term. I would stick to a 75 gallon tank or larger for those guys. And then one of the most commonly kept fish in a 55 gallon tank that definitely needs a bigger tank, and that is the Oscar. I see it all the time and I always recommend a minimum of a 75 gallon tank or larger. The Oscar gets well over a foot in length and like I mentioned, 13 inches front to back is not enough room. It's basically turning around in a phone booth. <laughs> Case of emotion. And if you have an Oscar right now in a 55 gallon tank, please just look to upgrade that tank or rehome it if you can, because 55 gallons is just not enough for an Oscar. And there are a lot of other big South American cichlids and aggressive cichlids that probably wouldn't do great in a 55 gallon tank. Something like your discus might be able to fit in a 55, but I think a 75 or 90 is really ideal for the discus as you'll probably want a decent sized group to make sure that they're comfortable. Something like your Green Terror is best in a 75 gallon tank or larger. So just make sure you're very careful with the South American cichlids you go with. You have a lot of great options that I talked about earlier. Just be sure to be realistic with yourself. If you plan on upgrading your tank, that can be tricky because life does happen and you may not be able to upgrade that tank long term. Sometimes I just recommend getting that fish once you have the large tank rather than hoping you can get that tank in the future. 
So that list was a little bit different because I talked about some great cichlid tank options, but also some not so great cichlids that could go on a 55 gallon tank. I hope you found that information helpful. And some of the cichlids I talked about may be hard to find at your local fish stores. They may be a little bit more unique. And if you need some help finding some of those, I would check out this video here, which is a full video we did on ordering fish online and some great locations to do so. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.